JavaScript is the world's most popular programming language. But how? Because every web page uses JavaScript. You navigate to google.com, you navigate to facebook.com, you navigate to any URL and you will find JavaScript in that. That means JavaScript, HTML, CSS. And of course, now this is being used for not only the web, using Electron, they're even creating desktop applications. And using Node.js, you can use JavaScript in server side. JavaScript in server, JavaScript in client, JavaScript in desktop, and also JavaScript in mobile. So you can create any kind of applications almost now with JavaScript. In. But how about test automation? We have test automation using uh, Selenium with Java, Selenium with Python, of course, Selenium with JavaScript. In. And there are some other automation tools. But if you go back to five years, in 2016, 15, and can you think of any automation tools with the JavaScript? No, 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 no. So why? Because JavaScript is not that much suitable for automation. But somehow we have used in Selenium before uh, 2016. But what about now? Yes, there are so many automation tools now. We have Playwright and Cypress. That is also one of the open source tools. We have Selenium with JavaScripting. We have Test Cave. There are so many tools coming up. And of course, there is one more from Google that is uh, Puppeteer. But go back to five years. No. But JavaScript is there in market from past to 25 years. We don't have uh, enough tools in JavaScripting before just because JavaScript is asynchronous. It is not like other languages when it comes to behaving and when it comes to uh, uh, easiness in test automation. You go to Java, you go to C Sharp, and you go to Python. Yes, we have test automation and it executes line by line. It wait for completion of that line, but when it comes to JavaScript, that doesn't do that. It was difficult to make it synchronous earlier. The moment I use the word asynchronous, this is a new term for you because uh, uh, if you are especially coming from Java or C Sharp, so I will I will explain here. So I've created a sample web form. In this, I've also created some JavaScripting instead of that, right? So which is for, uh, uh, which is having some functions inside of it, which is having some functions inside of it, okay? So here, I've created a, a register button, which will register after 10 seconds, right? And then there is one more thing, register after three seconds. So asynchronous means you can see that so which should complete first? 10 seconds should complete first. But what happened? Three seconds completed. How? Is JavaScripting multi-threaded? No, JavaScript is not multi-threaded, but it is asynchronous. This is how asynchronous is going to work. So what is asynchronous? If any task is taking more time to finish, it doesn't wait for that task to complete. It, the task will be in queue and it will execute the next task. In the meantime, the task which is taking more time, yes, it is still waiting. In between, it is going to complete, it is going to execute the rest of the code. That is how asynchronous is going to work. So here, it is waiting for 10 seconds. And when I click on this register after three, three seconds, and it is still executing, 10 seconds is also executing, and three seconds also executing. And the total time waited is not 30 seconds, it is actually 10, 10 seconds. Let us see that. So I'm clicking on 10 seconds and then we'll observe it how much time it is. It is 12.50, uh, 12.47.50 and I've clicked on this one and 12.47 and okay, like the right gate is executed. See that gate okay, within 10 seconds itself we got all this. So this is how asynchronous behave. So how are we make it, how are we going to make it synchronous? Yes, we will discuss that, but and because we got some easy features, we, we got some features which made uh, JavaScript to behave synchronous. We got some features in 2016 at that time. So uh, we got more tools in test automation after that. We got Cypress, we got Playwright, we got Test Cave, we got many other tools as well. JavaScript is asynchronous. It's not multi-threaded, it is asynchronous. So what is the meaning of asynchronous? It doesn't wait for completion of the current statement and it will go to next statement in case the current statement execution is waiting for more time to complete. The current request is taking more time. It will go to next step, that means rest of the code for execution. That's how asynchronous is going to work. 
So we are executing in browser. Why? Why are we doing that? Because JavaScript meant for executing only in browsers. Yes, it is. It, it cannot execute outside of the browser like Java C sharp. Is that true? Yes, it was before 2009. Until we got a software that is Node.js. Node.js created, uh, Node.js enabled us to execute JavaScript outside of browser. Node.js, it's a runtime environment for JavaScripting and because of that, we can execute. So we are able to create JavaScript end-to-end -end applications like JavaScript in server, JavaScript in uh, client, everywhere JavaScripting. So this one enables us to execute JavaScript outside of browser. But earlier, we can execute JavaScript only inside of browser. So we install Java to execute Java program. We install .NET to execute any c -sharp program. We install Python to execute any Python program. But what we have to install to execute JavaScript? We have to install Node.js. But what about browsers? Are browsers are going to use Node.js? No, browsers are not going to use Node.js. Then how browsers are executing JavaScript? Every browser is having a browser engine. So if you observe different different browser engines, we have something like Gecko. Gecko is by uh, is for uh, Firefox, and uh, Google is having Blink, and uh, Apple is having WebKit, and Microsoft is having Trident. Right. So they have different different browser engines. So browser engines means what is that? Okay, it is going to have CSS, JavaScript. You know uh, the complete browser okay, to uh, load the HTML page and to display that to execute JavaScripting. Right, it is it is going to have that browser engine. It will understand that and then present you the uh, uh, HTML and then present you this uh, you know CSS styling and then integrate with the uh, JavaScript and it executes. So this is a browser engine. So remember the names. Gecko is for Firefox. Trident is for Microsoft. And HTML also is for uh, Microsoft and WebKit is for uh, uh, Apple and Blink is for uh, Google. So this JavaScript engine is the one which executes the JavaScripting for browsers. So what are all the JavaScript engines we have? We have V8 engine for uh, Google. And of course, that's what I'm telling you. Blink uh, uh, is a browser engine and V8 is a JavaScript engine. And SpiderMonkey is for uh, Firefox. JavaScript core is for uh, Apple and Chakra is for uh, Microsoft. So you have browser engine and JavaScript engine. How J Node.js built? So it is built on top of Google's V8 engine. That means whatever the Chrome V8 engine we have, on top of that, Node.js is built. So what we have to remember, browser executes JavaScripting with the help of a JavaScript engine. And Node.js built on top of Chrome's V8 engine. You can install Node.js and you can execute JavaScript outside of browser. Outside of browser, this term looks new, but uh, this is new because uh, uh, we don't use the term outside of browser for other programming languages. We use only for uh, JavaScript. So instead of that, I will use like, you know, you can use JavaScript like other programming languages with the help of Node.js. So in order to work with JavaScript automation, First, we are going to install Node.js. Okay, is Node.js going to solve the problem of asynchronous? No, Node.js going to just execute the JavaScripting, but JavaScript behaves asynchronously. It is us who are going to uh, make program to work in a synchronous way. It is us, that means the automation testers are going to do that. So we have some features where we can convert asynchronous behavior to synchronous behavior. Yes, we will do that. Keep learning and you will understand everything. Thank you.